Yeah, hello everyone. Today I have a quick review of one of the most beautiful and graceful figures I own, and it is the beautiful, elegant Cure Moonlight from the series Heart Catch Precure, which aired in about from 2010 to 2011. And she is a one of a kind figure. She is um, in the excellent model series by uh, Mega House. She is a 1 8 scale. She came out at the very end of 2011, so around the time the series is, was about to end. Here you can see the sticker of authenticity by Toei Animation. The sides have little um, crystal shaped windows with uh, close ups of Yuri or Kier Mo Moonlight herself. The side has Yuri and her fairy partner Cologne. And in the back we have a good view of w what the figure comes with, some detail shots. Um, as you can see there are blue roses which represent uh, Yuri or Kier Moonlight all over the box. And then the top, just another nice window to let some light in along with a pretty picture of Pure Moonlight. Before we get to Yuri, let's go over her little fairy partner, Colon. He is a really lovely little accessory. Um, he is a very pearlescent hue, um, despite being pretty small, this big. Uh, he really has lovely details, there are no paint marks in the wrong place. Uh, it's hard to see on the camera, but he is slightly transparent, and if you've seen the series, you know why that is. So I think that was a very faithful rendition of Colo. And he stands on a tiny base um, of Cure Moonlight's Heart Seed, which he uses to transform. As always, let's start with the base. Her base, it, like Colo's, is a... Um, Heart, uh, her heart seed, but she also has a small clear transparent stand in the middle where she connects to. And though it looks a little bit odd, I can understand why it's there. She, um, she is the tallest precure in Heart Catch Precure, and this helps if you want to display her in back, it's a little stand by itself. Now, onto the figure herself. Her boots are a lovely white. Uh, slightly pearlescent color. Um, much of her uniform has a nice silver, silvery pearl color. And these bows are a beautiful deep purple with lovely shine on them, along with the laces. And this underskirt she is wearing is really beautiful. There we have the outer white skirt, which has a lot of lovely sculpted ruffles. And also, um, you know, in the between, you can see the highlights and lowlights. And her underskirt is lovely as well, sculpted in that beautiful um, pearlescent blue color. Um, this bow itself is very beautiful. Again, like the other, it's very shiny. Uh, her hands are well done. Um, over here, if you'll focus, you can see. Her fingernails are um, well defined, which is a little thing that I always love on figures. And the glove on her other arm has some lovely ripples to it. Her little flower charm here, where she transforms from, is beautifully done. It looks like a jewel itself. And the ruffles, everything, it's gorgeous. I know I have not seen any small paint transfers or smudges on this figure. She came out great. Now, Heart Catch Precure has a very distinct art style and is captured beautifully by this figure. Um, her eyes are a lovely silver tone and I especially love her hair, the bangs that sweep up, the little um, purple roses on the top of her hair. There's a slight seam line here, but most figures have that, so it's not a big deal. And her hair is just a gorgeous lavender, pearls, pearly silver color. Uh, the Precure series doesn't usually get uh, figures made, but Heart Catch is, in my opinion, the best Precure series, and I believe many agree as well. 
And so all the girls are actually made. I only grabbed Moonlight because she's my favorite of them all and a truly unique, tragic, and lovely character. Uh, if you are a Precure fan, please, I would say get this figure or get um, whoever is your favorite girl. They are made impeccably and they only cost about 50 USD online. So very good price. If you're a fan of Maho Shoujo in general, I would really, really give Heart Catch Precure a try. It is not the typical, you know, young girl type anime. Sure, it has some fun things, but there are a lot of adult and darker themes hidden throughout an older audience to enjoy. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Thanks! Bye!